What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like gear reviews, vlogs, and pews, hit that subscribe button down below. As you saw in the intro, I wanted to talk about today the Seahorse 4 pistol hard shell case. Let's get into it. This is the Seahorse model SE630 FP4 pistol case. It currently comes in two colors, black and desert tan, that you can order. The exterior dimensions are 17.5 by 14.2 by 7.5, and, and the interior measures at 16 by 11.6 by 6.2 inches. The empty case weighs in at around 7 pounds with the foam included, but once this thing is loaded with pistols, mags, and accessories, it will definitely weigh more than 7 pounds. Seahorse offers a few different types of latch locks for this case, such as the keyed chrome metal locks, or these polymer locks made from ABS resin. The case also comes with two padlock holes that you can use to put non-TSA and TSA approved locks. The interior has high performance foam that can hold pistols as large as a 1911. And I happen to have a 1911 right here, courtesy of my buddy Black Echo. Check him out if you have a chance. The case right now is currently in a locked position, as you can see by the horizontal locks right here. All you have to do is turn them up, and then there you go. This flips right open. The exterior of the case is super rugged and feels super well made. You'll notice the handle is thick and sturdy, and when it's folded down, it locks right into place. In the case currently, I have a Glock 48, HK P30L, a 1911, and my Glock 17 with RMR and an X300, as well as all of their associated magazines. So in the center compartment, I have a few different things. So I have a few knives, I've got some eye protection, an AR-15 lower receiver, a Glock Longboy, my Glock 48 speed loader, as well as a Radian Arms BCG and ambidextrous charging handle. Now I'm going to show you what this thing looks like completely unloaded. As you can see from this point of view, the foam inserts are laser cut to fit the magazines and firearms. Firearm pockets can fit larger pistol frames such as a 1911 or a 2011 if that's what you have. So let's throw one in there right now. So see how it kind of clicked in there? You can see that there's a protrusion right here that kind of squeezes the trigger guard. So it kind of acts as an extra point of retention for the pistol, especially for subcompact guns like the Glock 48. And let me show you how that one fits. So here's a Glock 48 right here. So this will fit right down in there. So, but a word of caution, because I have actually put um, larger guns in, into these uh, slots here, it won't retain a smaller subcompact as tightly because it does wear on these things. But the best thing is, is that you have this eggshell, but you have this eggshell right here that acts as the cushion on top that basically holds that weapon right in place. You won't have to worry about this flopping around if this case gets moved around because you have this eggshell right on top that'll hold that firearm down. Now let's see how a firearm like my Glock 17 fits. So here is the 1911. It's pretty large. It's a five inch barrel. Um, it's, it's standard size, but here is my Glock 17 in comparison. So you've got the two right here and you know, you get a longer grip, but you also gets a slightly longer slide because you have this X300 attached to the bottom there. I thought this X300 would originally pose an issue putting these into the case because obviously you can see that this is fairly thin. You can kind of see that the Glock 48 fits pretty nicely right on that slide holder right there. But you know, with this, it's a little bit thicker. As you can see, I'm gonna drop this in here. And honestly, if you just kind of give it a little tug, that should be fine. And same thing with the eggshell here, it'll push down right on there. You won't even worry about it. This top foam is made to push things down. So don't worry about that too much. This will be retained just fine. Even if that X300 is you know, taking up a little bit more room than other firearms. I think another cool thing about this case is the fact that it can hold at least 12 magazines. Um, it has 12 dedicated magazine slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. And then if you have one in each gun, you'll have 13, 14, 15, 16 mags. And like I said earlier in the video, if you pack this compartment full of magazines, you're good to go. You have plenty. 
As you saw in the beginning of the video, you noticed that when I closed the case here, you know, even with my Glock 17 having the RMR and the X300, like I said earlier, it closes just fine. I mean, you do have to kind of push it down a little bit, but it closes just fine. If you're like me, you like to take a lot of pistols and a lot of gear to the range. And I think this pistol case really does the job. You get to carry so much stuff and you can customize it however you'd like. As you stick around and see the future videos of this channel, you'll notice that this case is going to be very essential in what I load out to the range. And some of the guns that I'll be taking are gonna be a little bit more expensive sometimes and having this will definitely put my mind at ease. And not to brag, but as I've been on the range, I have received a lot of looks and a lot of questions about this case. A lot of people are like, dang man, that's probably a super expensive case. And I usually ask them, how much do you think this case is worth? And they'll usually say, oh, you know, 200, 250, 300 maybe. Um, that's kind of the higher end that I've ever heard. Amazingly enough, this case is only 120 bucks on some of the outlets on online. You really get a lot for your money. For how much you get to load out with this case, it's amazing that you can carry so much and pay so little. And just to reiterate, you get a case that'll hold four full-size handguns, 12 magazines, plus four in the actual guns themselves, tons of extra gear, etc., etc. I'm not gonna beat a dead horse, but I'm just gonna keep bragging about this case. And seriously, if you're in the market for an excellent four pistol case, I highly recommend Seahorse. They make excellent stuff for a top-notch price. And if you guys have any concerns about this case or anything about it, be sure to reach out to me in the comments below. I am more than happy to answer any questions or concerns or where to find them. Sometimes you may not be able to find this case on all of the outlets online. So let me know and I can direct you to wherever that might be. Also, they don't just carry pistol cases. Seahorse actually has a plethora of other items, camera cases, laptop cases, etc., etc. Anything you can think of, they have. And in the act of full transparency, I want to let you know that I actually acquired this case from Seahorse themselves. Uh, they reached out to me and they sent me this case to review. So I just want to give a big shout out to Annie from Seahorse for sending this out. Thanks Annie. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. It helps my videos progress a little bit further. Uh, it definitely helps me out in the long run. So any support really helps. Well, that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.